Hello to everyone interested in learning about TAP Edition. I'm Paula, one of TAP Edition's product managers, and I want to show you some basic features and give you a feel for how easily TAP Edition uploads print and electronic material to mobile devices. In this case, it will be a magazine app for Apple Newsstand. In other tutorials, I'll demonstrate different uses of TAP Edition. Let's take a look at how to enter information to create a new app and its first issue, upload a PDF for that first issue, build articles and links to help readers, include the interactive features that will make my print material come alive, and publish. We'll spend a lot of time on this toolbar. Here's the TAP Edition homepage as it looks today. You can create an account or log in. And here's the first page you see when you log into your free account. You can see that I have one app that is a work in progress, and I'll talk more about this page when you have a better feel for TAP Edition. Let's dive in and create a second app. I have eight choices for mobile app type, with general as a catch-all. We tried to anticipate all the basic types, but if we miss something, please let us know, and we'll consider including it. Now back to creating my magazine. This first entry page is mostly about providing information for the App Store. I'll zoom in so you can see better. Watch as I enter the name as I want it to appear on the App Store, my desired publish date, number of publications per year, 12 for my monthly magazine, a description for the App Store to display, internal notes that I want to keep about the app, no one else will see them, a support URL for readers if they have a problem with my publication, and category and subcategory, again for the App Store to use. Now save. After save you see the app is created, and we'll also see a couple of features that we'll use frequently. The toolbar that I mentioned earlier, and a help icon that will give you information about whatever page you're on. This time I won't show you the typing of entry, which is really just a waste of your time. I'll show you the page after my entry of the issue name, issue number, when you want the issue to become available, issue description, some internal notes that only I will see, price, and the currency the price is in. Now save which takes us to the Files tab, where I'll upload my issue material, the backbone of my mobile device publication. You can use help to learn the rules about file uploads, such as the file size limit of 500 megabytes. I'll go ahead and upload, which can take a while with large files. After the upload, Tap Edition processes the file. That's where the magic happens and your publication becomes mobile device ready. You might see another pause as your file processes, but in this case it happened instantly. I can define articles to create a table of contents. This magazine contains sections by Fashion House, so I'll create an article for one of the houses. Name, page number, and we're done. I could continue creating articles, but let's move on to the fun stuff on the Interactions tab. You can play around with objects on the page to rearrange them as you like, because you'll spend a lot of time here using creative features to bring your mobile issue to life. I can add videos, audio, photos, links to the web, RSS, internal links within the issue, and text boxes. Here's a basic but important type, internal links. It's just what it sounds like, links within your issue. I'll show you how to use them to help readers go straight from the cover to the cover stories inside. To set up an interaction, you always pick the interaction type, pick the hotspot, and configure. Here's the hotspot. When readers touch it, the interaction happens. To configure an internal link, you need to provide a title, an issue, and a page number. Let's preview how our link works. It got us to page 46. Let's go back to our working area because page 46 just happens to be a page where I want to add a video interaction. I'll use the scroll bar to get there. To create the interaction, I select the type, select the hotspot, and configure.
I can grab a video from online or my computer, but I have what I need in my Tap Edition library. And here it is. If you later want to change to a different video or delete the interaction, you can do it here. How about more interaction examples? I planned several nice interactions for our friend Nino here, beginning with a large photo gallery in a layout called Overlay Scroll View. It displays in the middle of the page. I need to select the Photos Interaction, the Hotspot area, and Configure. I can add photos from the web, my computer, or the Tap Edition photo library. The library is empty now, so I'll get photos from a computer file. I could pick and choose, but I'll take all of the photos to add. Notice the photos are now added to my library, handy if I want to use them later in the project, which I will. Now I'll select Gallery Layout. Remember you can always change any interaction. Maybe I'll want to use different photos later. I'll add another photo gallery. You've seen Overlay Scroll View. This time I'll show you Embedded Scroll View, which will scroll in the Hotspot area. Photos Interaction is already selected, so I'll go straight to the Hotspot. Now that I have pictures in my library, I'll choose from them. I'll pick Embedded Scroll View for the layout. I have one last thing to do for Nino. Include a link to his website. I'll name the link, paste it in, and be done. Let's preview Nino's ad. The Overlay Hotspot brings up my big photo gallery in the middle of the page. The embedded hotspot displays here. And the web link takes us to Nino's web page. We'll call this issue done, but I have one more thing to do before publishing. Because this is my first issue, I want to brand my app with graphics and colors. I'll go back to the app page to do that. I'm sure you have a better understanding of this page now than when you first logged in. You see all your apps and where you can work on them. You see issues and places to work on them. And here's our missing link, a sign that I haven't branded my new app yet. I'll go to App Design for all the ways to brand it. As before, I won't waste your time showing file uploads, which you know how to do, and instead I'll show you what you can enter. Now that I have all my graphics uploaded, I can go on to other creative decisions about how my app displays. I've made all my entries and am ready to publish. Some fields show my previous entry and others I need to enter now. I see a pretty standard payment box for my information. After I enter I click buy and the process is complete. It's as easy as that to use Tab Edition to create a magazine app.